In this video, I'll show you how to write the equation of a parabolic arch. A parabolic arch supports a roadway as shown below. Write the equation of the arch taking axes as shown, where the vertex is at the origin. Let's begin by analyzing the parabola as shown. The parabola has the vertex 0 and 0, and it extends 115 meters downwards. That's shown right here. The parabola is also 224 meters wide, and that's shown from here to here. If we divide 224 by 2, we end up with 112 on the right side and 112 on the left side. With that being said, we have two major points, this one and this one. The x-coordinate of this point will be negative 112 because it's to the left of the origin and the y-coordinate will be negative 115 because it's below the x-axis. Similarly, the x-coordinate here will be positive 112. Notice the difference. This one is positive and that's negative, and the y-coordinate will also be negative 115. We have two points in which we can work with. One of these points, and it doesn't matter which one, will be substituted into this template. Let's go ahead and do that. We have x to the power of 2, I'm going to use this point, 112 to the power of 2 is equal to 4 times p times y of negative 115. We're going to solve for p, and it's really easy to do. I'm going to take the square of the left side and multiply the 4 and the negative 115 together. 112 to the power of 2 gives us 12,544. 12,544. On the right side, 4 times negative 115 gives us negative 460p. Divide both sides by negative 460. On the right side, this cancels out. 12,544 divided by what we just found, and we end up with negative 27, negative 27 decimal 3. Let's rewrite our equation with p this time. We have x squared is equal to 4 times this number. Let's multiply this by 4, negative 109 decimal 1 y. This is in standard form. If we want it in general form, we need to have all the terms exclusively on one side. So I'll bring this over where I end up with x squared plus 109 decimal 1 y is equal to 0. This is in general form, this is in standard form, and that is how to write the equation of a parabolic arch.